Welcome to this new video, Advanced Use of Slicers. So slicers are another way of filtering. They narrow the portion of the data set that is shown in other report visualizations. So it's a definition slicers are another way of filtering. So you can filter the values with respect to the slicers. Now in this video, we are going to show you how you can use two slicers at the same time in a single visual. That means, okay, we have date slicer, we have two date slicer. How you can use these two date slicers in a single page and at the same time, you can, we are going to use synchronized slicers for a single page for these two slicers that we will show in the, as a second example. So in the first example, what we are going to show is that when you select a date from this slicer, here nothing should happen because if you are selecting a date of 2019 from this slicer, here it should not affect. It's the same way if you select a date of 2020 from this slicer, in this table it should not affect. So at the same time, if you are selecting any values from these two slicers, both the tables should have data. So we are going to see that as the first example so we have two slices here and two date slices here so in this table we are going to have a data set of calendar we have a sales details and region and product so in this table we are going to date and that also date we don't want quarter and day we will take only the month and in this calendar we are going to get the unit price and at the same time in this calendar we are going to get the unit cost in this table, we are going to take the unit price and in this table, we are going to take the unit cost. The first slicer, we are going to take the date. Both, we are going to take the date directly. We are going to take off the day from it. And here we are going to give the country and here we are going to give the product. So I have already formatted the uh, slicer. That's why the name, title and all are shown here. So first, what we are going to do is that we can select a date. 2020, we are going to select for this table, but you saw, isn't it? This table also start filter. Here also it got filter, so I can't do anything here. I need to change the selection here itself. Then only I can do anything here. So we don't want that to happen. We want to select 2019 here and 2019 results should be filtered in this table. But this table and the filter, nothing, this table and the slicer, nothing should happen. So you need to select the slicer. You have to go to format and you can take the edit interaction and you have to select the, this option to none, filter option to none in both this slicer and the table. So once we do that, it won't get filtered with respect to this slicer. Select 2019 here. See, only 2019 records got filtered in this table, but see, nothing happened to this table. 2020 and 2019 results are there. At the same time, if you select here, here also nothing happened. Both the values are there. But at the same time, if you are going to select this 2020 here, see, everything got filtered. We don't want that to happen if you are filtering 2020, only this table should get filtered, nothing should happen to you. Do the same operation like how we did in this slicer. You need to select this slicer and you need to take off the filters from these two the slicers and the slicer and the table. So that has been done. So now we are taking away everything and we are going to do once again. So we want 2020 unit price in, in this table. So we are going to select 2020. And 2020 unit price we got in this table, nothing happened here. And we need 2019 unit cost in this table. And we selected here and we got 2019 cost in this table. But here we don't need anything. We just want the values of Finland. We got it. This is the value of Finland. Both the tables have got filtered with respect to the country and for the product also we are selecting uh, a product called CCAM. So it is not having any unit price because it didn't get sold. It is having the unit cost. On. So this is the way you can use two slicers in a single page and do different filters with these two slicers. In the second example we are having And here, as usual, we are going to take the date and unit price in the first one. And in the second one, we are going to take the date and the unit cost. 
okay we are selecting 2020 okay both the filters both the tables got filtered to 2020 but see this uh, selected date it is not it is just showing all it is not of course it got selected of 2020 but it is not showing the value we need to get the value of 2020 here. so what we can do is that get, select the first slicer go to view select the slicer sync go to advanced option give a name for the slicer i am going to give a name as date date is so i am going to give this as a group name for the slicer now i am going to go to the second slicer and i am going to go to the advanced option same i am going to do the same group in the second option so both the slicers i have given under the same group and i have synchronized it in page 2 it we don't want any other page we want to do it in the same page so both the slicers i have given the group grouping as the same group name in the same page now we will see how it happens so we are selecting 2019 and of course here also it got 2019 and it got filtered in the tables so in this table we are going to change it to 2020 and we are also it got changed to 2020 so these are some of the tips and tricks from slicers you can use the two slicers with the same name and do the same operation so hope this will give insight to your visualization in power bi thank you have a nice day